you just bought DBD, or simply don't have many hours and luck in most of the perks. All your games is killer finishing with everyone's and begging at exit gates, laughing at your inability to even hook someone. Then sit tight, my friend. In this video I will show you three free-to-play builds. And if you got questions like what killers should I prestige first, or what build should I play as beginner, and finally how to win in Dead by Daylight as a killer, look no further than this guide. And don't fear, my friend, let's jump into the fog on this awesome adventure together. There are many killers to choose from, but you start with these five guys. It absolutely doesn't matter which one you choose for your first games. But I will show you all builds on race. So first build with first perk is Whispers. And it's a bit tricky to use at first, but it's only one information perk that have no counters. So let me explain how it works. At start of the game it turned off, but uh, when survivor near you it will turn on. So you need to keep an eye on it most of the time. But radius is really big, so how can we find survivor? There's cool hack. Let me show you. Go straight until perk turns on. Then stop and move left or right. If perk turns off, then survivor was on the other side. This will lessen big radius to just little quadrant. And you know that survivor somewhere in front of you. And now let's go to the easy stuff. You found survivor. Attack him. And second perk immediately in the play. Slappy Butcher. It will make survivors heal longer. And if you interrupt them, they will completely lose healing progress. So we got information to find survivors. We got something to slow them down. What's next? Let's slow down gens. Jolt. Awesome perk. Because kicking gens is actually a waste of time. With jolt, if you down survivor near gens, it will kick all gens in the area for you. Awesome slow down perk. But sometimes survivors gen rushing and you can stop them. So last perk will take care for late game situations. Hex no one escaped death or just know it. After final gen popped and exit gates are powered, know it will activate. And now you no longer need two hits to down someone. Just one. Feels awesome. And this is very good build to start your killer adventures. It will work basically on every killer. So enjoy your wins. But eventually you will get some iridescent shards. So what killers to unlock? To have better builds. For second build we need perks from two killers. Legion and Artist. This build will focus on gen control. You probably already can find survivors fast. And know what they are doing. But if they work on gens together, they will pop it really fast. So Legion perk Discordance will notify us with loud sound. And light up gen with yellow aura. This is information where we can go and apply pressure. It's very effective to find multiple survivors and take their precious time. So now you down survivor and gens in your area being damaged, because we still using jolt. But what can we do with gens that's not on our side of the map? Here comes last perk, hook pain res from the artist. It will explode gen with most progress. And while all gens where you are chasing with survivor probably not being worked on, it works very good for regressing gens that far on the map. But to make it work, you need to hook survivors on the hooks that highlighted in white. And again, if you haven't managed to win before all gens pop, here comes Noid to finish game for you. And last but not least, if you want to try completely different strategy, try this totem build. It will require 4 killers unlocked. Hack, Spirit, Blight and Artist. From them we will need Hex Totems, Undying to protect Hexes, Devour Hope, our main win condition, Haunted Ground, it gives tempo to achieve this condition, and Hex Pentimenta. If we failed to protect our Hexes, we can light up Hexes again, but it will be Hex Pentimenta. So now let me explain. This build completely changes how you approach the game. With this build, I don't focus on gens, but more on how to get devour stacks. So I start game with patrolling all totems and checking that no one trying to cleanse them from the start of the game. Now I need to find someone, finish chase and hook immediately. Now I need to get away from the hook. And when devour lights up, it's the sign that when survivor will be unhooked, I will get my stack. After hook, I fast check my totems and then find next victim. Basically, that's what should be done after every hook. And after certain hook, I have ability to one-shot survivors. 
and if goal is reached, game will be easy and fun. But if survivors manage to destroy my Devour Hope, I can light up uh, Hex Pentimenta, and it basically means they will do gens slower, so we can finish game normally. But maybe you want to join survivor side. I got awesome video for beginner survivors. Subscribe and check it out on the screen right now.